Hey up viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV. It's James Peck and Jimmy Nixon here at HQ. Hey up Becky. All right mate, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, thanks mate. Playing Clumber Park today, should be an entertaining fixture. Uh, Wheatley looking for their fourth win in a row and Clumber, after a very good start, they won their first match and uh, had a very, very close match with Milton, second match. They've uh, lost their last four, so they'll be looking to fight back. Clumber have won the toss, they're batting first, and here comes Jordan Niles with the first ball. Oh, that's gone down leg side, and that'll be four wide. Ex uh, Wheatley man, Simon Bingham, opening the batting here for Clumber. And, uh, better, second ball from Jord. Oh, that's lovely stuff from Jord. Oh, that's another four one from George. Big appeal, that's gone down for four leg bites. Solid from Bingo. You may have spotted viewer, as Jimmy has just now. There's washing on the washing line, shh. Oh, and that was the one that came back. <laughs> Oh, that is superb bowling from Jono. Did he get a wicket last week? Yeah. They got a thing out, didn't you, Burgess? And uh, they've got their score in there, they've got a wicket out. Yeah! Well, Wheatley's King of Swing had had the classic one in, one out there, and that was enough. No ball. Oh, that's a false shot, and come down for one. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, this is delightful barley from George. Oh, that's been carted over the top. And that's six. Oh, that is super bowling once again from Jono. Top stuff. Two gullies, two slips for Jono now. One nearly sucked through. Well, I've had the unmitigated pleasure of playing in a few weekly teams over the years with Bingo. Um, I think um, he probably be the first to admit that he hasn't faced this calibre of bowling here very often. So he chops one down into Gully. Breaks out. Down to Ralph Patterson, making his first team debut today, Ralphie. Second team regular. Fantastic to see him in this side. That's edged and taken by Bruno, diving away to his right. Third wicket for Jono in this superb opening spell. Oh, it's very full. I think it's going down. Can George get in on the act here? Oh, and there's a mix-up, and they get back. Oh. No, that sounded a bit paddy to me, or trousery. Threw him, and that one was coming. out into the leg side for a rare run. Oh, oh my giddy out. <laughs> well, thank you, Pecky, for the first 10 overs. A very eventful 10 overs. 40, uh, 23 for four, I should say. 
Um, and as you're away next week at Legoland, um, thought about getting some practice in, so I'll be doing the next 10 overs. Absolutely, mate. And even if I wasn't at Legoland, I'll be watching the Super Stags at Wembley. Ah, so, of course, uh, of course. It's one of those rare weekends. Oh, good stop. Oh, bit of a mean bouncer there from Jordan. In comes Jono for six other of the innings. And it's a beautiful ball and just misses the edge. Oh, and that's uh, bottom edged it down for four runs. That takes them up to 27 for four. Oh, and that is absolutely pelted for four more runs. And that's whacked in the air. And Cal has got that. Bit of a kiss and make up there by Cal and Ralphie. Nice hug. <laughs> so, um, for those who were wondering who Ralph was, Pecky, mm. um, uh, some people might think he looks a bit like Henry Patterson. Yeah, um, that's because he's his younger brother, but he could be his twin brother, to be honest. Yeah. There's a strong gene in the uh, Patterson <laughs> dynasty there. Well, they're all <laughs> six foot 24 inches. <laughs> One slip in for Jordan here. He comes. And, oh, awkward bounce will stop by Tongi. That's edge and just dropped short of Jordan. Big shout for LBW and that is given. Or bold John Ellis. So Columbo Park in a bit of trouble here, Pex. So 37 or 31 for six, I should say. Um, Jono bowling magnificently. Yeah, absolutely. What's he on now? Is that four, four he's got? He's got four for so far. Fantastic. Great over for him. Sorry about that viewer. It was a, a no ball for a above head height bouncer. It's a free hit. And well bowled by Jordan. Oof. Pecky, so come on, tell us about the Stags, what's going on? So you're in the playoffs of some sort, what league well, is this? This is League, this is league 2, um, it's our first trip to Wembley in inverted commas since 2004, but um, on that occasion Wembley was being rebuilt, so we went down to the Millennium Stadium, and right. went to it. Here comes Jordan, that's tapped out, no run. Um, I drove myself, one of my brothers and a couple of our mates down from Retford to Cardiff, took us seven hours in my um, <laughs> Nissan Micra. <laughs> And um, it was absolutely shelling it down with rain. We watched a pretty dour nil-nil draw and then a penalty shootout where Liam Lawrence chipped one onto the bar, first penalty for Stags, Penenka style, and then watched Huddersfield sink theirs Excellent. in the rain. And I said, never again. <laughs> Big shout, not out. And that's edged and, oh, a bit weird, the umpire. He definitely put, put his, his finger, finger up, up there, there. <laughs> Jimmy. Definitely put <laughs> his finger up. And changed his mind when no one appealed. <laughs> and that is swiped out to the offside, towards the boundary. And picked up by Eddie, and they've come back for two more runs. It's a lovely shot. Let's head down to the boundary for four more runs. Oof. 
And that was a very, very late shot. Nearly went to edge. And they get a quick single. That's a massive swing and miss. And that's uppish. And it's chipped out. Picked up by Cal for a quick single. Johnny working really hard to get his fifth wicket today. And he comes, and it's a beautiful ball and looking. So Jordan after nine overs is done, and on comes Alex the Swing Angel. First ball, lovely. And swiped out into the offside. And Eddie picks up. They're going for two, looking for three. They're going to stay with two. Ah, oh, that's beautifully caught by George. That came to him Gordon super Bennett. fast. <laughs> what a catch. Well? <laughs> Afternoon. Look at that beautiful washing on the washing line there, Pex. Beautiful, love it. Isn't that a great sight, mate? It is. Working its oracle at the moment. Yep. I'm just going to have a look at this field here. They're talking about an offside ring. Quite the offside field, isn't it, Jimmy? Yeah. No shots, well fielded. And as the chairman mentioned, I think it's the first time in the history of Wheatley we only have one field on a leg side. And one of Jono's last chance to get a five for here. Unlucky. And well bowled, Jono. Great spell. Oh, and Alex is through him. First ball of my new spell on uh, comms. Oh, my word. He's hooped one again through the defences. And he's on hat trick. Well, Clumber are nine down here. It's number 11's facing the hat trick ball, and I think they may be regretting their decision uh, to bat first. Oh, that popped up, but no one's there. Well, Jono has finished with the magnificent figures of 10 overs, 5 maidens, 4 for 14. As Jimmy just pointed out, um, Ainge is on three for three off two overs. <laughs> and there's no let up here for Clumber as uh, Callum Rutherford comes on to bowl. It's drilled, tops got a big hand on it. And they scramble a single. Oh, that's Edge through the slips. Jord and Bruno are after it. Oh, and Bruno does brilliantly to keep it down to two. Bruno beating Jordan a sprint there. Oh, and he's gone. Well, that brings to an end a rather listless innings from uh, Clumber Park there. They're 49 all out. Wheatley will be looking for a nicely round 50 runs to win. But don't forget, viewer, there are four elements of play here. Wheatley, the oppo, cricket and physics. The Wheatley openers are out, Bruno and Munch, and they'll be looking to chase down 50. Well, I've got you here, viewer. Um, one of the most criminally underwatched uh, cricket YouTube channels is definitely Frimley Phoenix, and I'm gonna stick the link to their site in the description of this video wondrous commentary from Henry Douthwaite, cricket, uh, played in the right spirit and uh, they're doing things correctly down there. Give them a go. Bruno facing the first ball. It's very full and didn't get all of it and they set up for one. Oh, and that's a munch punch down the ground. That's his first ball. That was delightful. Lovely sledge from Bingo at square leg there. Best case scenario, 30 not out. <laughs> Get into their heads early. <laughs> Ooh, that 
was a netball. Munch playing against his uh, former club side here. Grew up at Clumber Park, uh, playing cricket through their age groups. Jimmy, it's uh, high time we had a Jordan Niles update. Um, how's it been going at uh, Shane Echo? Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, he's been spending a lot of money recently uh, on really? protein shakes. Good grief. What, um, what are they? I've never even come across that before. He's, he's trying to gain some weight, apparently. So, right. Whereas I'm trying to lose some. So well, We could give him a few tips on that, couldn't well, we? Well, we could, mate. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> As I'm losing it, I'm giving it to him. <laughs> Bruno, get down, boy. Wiry. <laughs> That's a lovely run, flick. Run, 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 run. They've got their instructions. And a dive has saved it from the boundary, and they come back it's for gone. three. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, it's full. <laughs> That's uh, the control edge, I think, for Munch. It's going down here for four. Save him, man. Flick down by Munch, that's four. Oh yeah, that's how you deal with Shot, that. Cam. Whitney have uh, raced on to 28 without loss, and we're in the fifth over. <laughs> Clumber's own player stopping uh, play there for walking behind the bowler's arm. <laughs> Worked out into the offside of a munch and they chopped through for a single. Cracked through the covers for a magnificent boundary. 15 to win here for Wheatley. Oh my word. out and this is a free hit. Nice low ball, Bruno chips it Lion. to Bingo, yep. mid off for a single. Nicely guided by Munch but equally well fielded in the gully. 12 to win here for Wheatley. Very skillful shot by Bruno and they come through for a single. Munch has absolutely clobbered that. That's six. Fantastic shot. Oh, Munch has chipped that over the top. That's going to come down for four. With the scores level, Jimmy, we should mention uh, the fact that Bingo's uh, playing for Clumber in this match, along with uh, Jamie Boville, who's making a, a sensational return to uh, the Whitney second team today away at Clumber. But they were. Uh, and a couple of friends of theirs were on a uh, massive a charity walk, weren't they, Jimmy? Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it was called the Coast Busters, and it was uh, for Macmillan Cancer Support, which is obviously a great cause. Um, and basically, they were walking a uh, full marathon along the Norfolk coast. Well, that was a drab end to a very quick match. It's not even 2.30 here. The match started at 12, and Wheatley have uh, completed an extremely comprehensive victory uh, over a clumber side that uh, I know a few of their players um, think they're probably playing in a division too high and unfortunately that was horribly exposed today. Good luck to them for the rest of the season. Munch finishes on 34 not out, Bruno on 9 not out and uh, we hope you've enjoyed uh, this truncated match today viewer from Jimmy and I, Alt Best. <laughs>